Today we meet with John Kennedy of Wild Boar and Gibbons ahead of his duties at Business in Oxford 2017. John, thanks very much for joining us today. John pleasure, Kennedy, the, pleasure, the brains behind B4. John That's very, 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 very kind of you. That's true, John. He came up with the name, so so thank you. Um, thank you again for agreeing to support us at Business in Oxford. You'll be taking control at the at the front on on stage again, hopefully, and uh, keeping everybody in order. You've kindly also presented at each of the uh, past three Business in Oxfords, and your topic of choice is, is brands. That's your subject of expertise. Can you maybe just give us a little bit bit of background about you and your um, and what you do now and also what you'll be talking about at Business in Oxford. My pleasure Richard. I, w I will be talking about brand protection and the brand as an intellectual property strategy but also in business strategy as a whole. So why brand is important, why we all interact with brands and what you as a business need to do in order to protect your brand but also develop your brand. How have I got to this stage? Well, I originally started in professional services marketing, but before that, I actually read geography at university. So uh, it's been a change, but actually I've been working in professional services and in leadership and strategy and in management for, uh, for, for many years. What interests me about business in Oxford and why it's such a fantastic event, both to chair and to be involved in and to speak at, is just the sheer mix of great businesses that are there and the number of projects that are involved. It's absolutely amazing. And f uh, year four, 2017, will be the biggest and best yet, or so I've been promised. Well, it's a bigger venue, so it has to be bigger. <laughs> you, you work in London. Um, do you see anything similar to business, in, well, obviously not similar to business in Oxford, but sort of the, the, the mix, as you've referred to already, um, events in London, do you get that same sort of mix or do you think Oxford's unique in terms of I think who lives and works here? What tends to happen uh, to business in Oxford is it's multi-sector and multidisciplinary. What I think tends to happen in the city and in, in the, the events I see in London, there's either the smaller businesses which are a mixed bag or there's much more sector specific stuff. I speak regularly at the intellectual um, property um, conferences and events and those for the institutes of intellectual property and they're very much spect sector specific even though obviously all the businesses involved are very very different. So I think business in Oxford is unique and it's a fantastic model both for people in Oxford to come to, but way beyond. Some of my clients and contacts in the last year or two have come from much further afield and been very, very impressed. Come from you know, the far side of London, in fact, and from the South Coast and from the Midlands. And it's a very, very impressive event. So what makes a strong brand, John, in, in your opinion? Authenticity and trust. Obviously, visual identity is important, and people think of brands as a logo, but actually it's what that logo delivers and what that means to you. So there's an awful lot of psychology wrapped up in branding. What do we, what do we trust? What does that brand deliver? And is the service great? Sometimes the, the great brands are the most disappointing in terms of their service, and that obviously disappoints us. We buy into the ethos of a brand, but brands, particularly in 2017 and beyond, have to be authentic. They have to deliver from visual identity, great logo, all the way through to point of sale and quality of what you are eating, driving or experiencing. So if we think, a, for example, a telecommunications company's brand or logo is, is good, but we have a bad experience with that particular company, does that really affect our impression of that, that logo? It does indeed. It's, it certainly has an, an impression because we're not complaining about the technical side of things quite often. We may well be complaining about the customer service side. So the nature of brand is that we interact with them, but it's also absolutely key to make sure that the delivery of the service is excellent. Quality is part of the nature of what the brand should mean to us. But actually, we've all had experiences where we think this is a fantastic multi-billion pound brand, but I can't use my telephone or my PC isn't working. What's going on? I can't get hold of them. It's not necessarily that I'm criticising the technical delivery. I just can't get hold of somebody on the phone to complain. And that's what I feel I need sometimes when I'm, when I'm let down by a bigger brand. Mark Beard of Beard Construction speaking in the same seminar session as yourself. I asked Mark what three elements would he take from what three brands to make up a super brand? I can ask you the same question. A super brand. Without any research or preparation whatsoever. Absolutely, Absolutely no problem. Very, very strong logo and visual identity. Coca-Cola would be an excellent example of that. Ford cars possibly. 
Then the delivery, the consistent delivery across every single platform of that image, but also the quality of the product. And then finally, I suppose the third thing would be consistency going forward in terms of every touch point that I see. So if you think of the overall brand, my experience of that brand, do I trust it to deliver? Do I trust that can of beer, Coca-Cola, whatever, to be the same wherever it is in the world? And actually, that's what the great brands do. So Mark talking about construction, I wouldn't necessarily know whether he's a brilliant technical engineer, but I would know whether he's delivering great service and things on time and on budget. And it's that relationship that matters. So three strong brands that deliver, in your opinion, you reference Coca-Cola, two others? I'm not a Coca-Cola drinker, but um, I would also argue that a brand like Volvo, um, which has moved from beyond safety to something slightly more exciting, and they've got very comfortable seats as well, so that's the, the experience. And then within that, I would say B4, um, the network is a very strong brand because it delivers on what anybody in the networking world would want, trusted relationships to build bridges between business. This, I hasten to add, this wasn't rehearsed. John, that's very kind of you to say that. And uh, I obviously agree with you 100%. But, um, Goes without but, saying. But thank you again for your time. We look forward to seeing you taking the chair at Business in Oxford 2017 and your presentation. And I would, anybody listening to this, they should come along or they should get themselves involved either from a sponsorship point of view or speaking. Uh, and if they need any help on that, please let either me or Richard know. So how can we get in contact with you? Send me an email via Richard because obviously he's my secretarial support. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, John. Cheers.